Well, we just, we just came from a little alien down there at uh, Rachel, riding up this mountain to the other side, I guess. I uh, got me a sticker from the bike, look at that. Area 51 warning, right? That deadly force is by. It's not sticking, Brian. Huh? It's not sticking. Yeah, it's stuck. No, it isn't. It's sticking off. Well, well, there's nothing I can do about it. Did you get the paper off the back? Yeah, there's only one piece. Two pieces. All right. So this is the end of Nevada right here. We got like 60 miles to go. We'll be in Utah. We seen a couple of B-1 bombers flew right by over sideways. But the crazy part was, is that after it went by, there was this weird sound. There was nothing there. It was like another jet flying right behind it. So we figured it was either the noise of the turbulence that the jet was making, because it was turned sideways. It wasn't flying level, it was turned sideways like this as it went by. It was either the turbulence coming off of the wings making this noise, or there was a possibility that it was another air, aircraft that was cloaked or something, because there was three of them, actually. There was one going this way, there was one going that way, and then there was one that was farther down that was flying straight and level towards the mountains over there where the clouds are. Right, and they went by. I mean, they were going pretty fast. I've never seen a B-1 bomber up close, but I saw that one really up close. It was, wasn't even 50 yards away from me. Right? It was pretty cool. It was pretty awesome. No markings, no lights, no nothing. Just zooming. Right, it was like them T-4 trainer jets that, that passed by us when we were in the flats. They went by. They were so they were so low and so clear. were like eye level. And one of the pilots was giving the peace signs. He went by. They were like... Here's that sign from us. And there was zoom went right by. Right? It's uh it's not a bad day. The wind keeps blowing in our face. Which for some unknown reason we can't we can't catch a break and get a tailwind anywhere. The only tailwind we did get was like for two miles and it was swirling. It was pushing us, but it was in our face at the same time. Right? But uh I guess it, I guess this is the reason why the government did pick Nevada. Right, to be their test beds. There's nothing out here. There's nothing out here to, you know, to, there's nothing out here to destroy or damage or, you know, and, and then there's, in the little, in the little restaurant where we were at, I mean, it, we, when we walked in, we were the only two people. And then, like, within 30 minutes, the place filled up. It seems like everywhere we go, that's, that's what happens. Right, there's some English, people from England. Right, the little bartender made, the little barmaid lady, she was pretty cool. Right? And then another lady came in, she was she talked to us for a little while, she was all tweaked out. She was that girl was spinning. She was she was spinning she invited out. Invited us to come check out her pile of bikes. Yeah. And get some parts, but then forgot about it and left. Yeah, she left. Right? So and then there, here's another crazy thing. When when we went when we walked into that place, there was one cloud and it was over there above that mountain where it still is. It blew up, right? And the, but now look, and it's only been like maybe two hours. Now there ain't that much air here. There ain't that much water in the air here to just make clouds appear out of nowhere. They didn't even do this shit in Arizona, and this is monsoon season right now in Arizona, and this is too far north to get. Hey, but they're saying flash flood warnings for the whole ha bottom half of the state up till 10 p.m. today and the end out workers are out preparing for it even though it's not supposed to come up this far yeah yeah they're out there flushing out the culverts right back there not gonna come up this far because this is where it's starting yeah so yeah flowing down this way so you guys tell me you guys tell us what the hell is going on out here uh, Nevada, Nevada has been this really great cool friendly place but at the same time it's been weird and wacky and I'm one of the, I'm a cynical person, you know, I'm a skeptic, I don't believe nothing until... He's a foil hat nut. Right, until I, until I see it with my own two eyes, right, or I can hold it in my hands, right, but there's been some things out here in this, in this desert that are unexplainable. You ask me what? Well, the weather, right? Cars out in the middle of nowhere, white, government plated cars parked out in the middle of nowhere. Out in the distance, you see a building with a gigantic you know, antenna on it, 
right? But there are no cars around it, nowhere, and there's nobody working in it, right? And then, and then here's, here's the crazy one, is we were coming up over that mountain over there to come down into this valley, right? Right up against the mountain, there was uh, one of them big 40-foot tractor trailer, semi-trailers, that was parked next to a dirt pile that was painted in two triangles, red and white. It was kind of like a range marking, kind of like, you know, I don't know, why, I, I, across the whole valley there was nothing. And then right at the end, where the mountain butts up against the military base, there's this range marking. And then jets are flying all over the place. And there's jets flying way up there that you can't see, but you can hear them. Right now. And then there was one jet, there was, remember that one that was screwing across, we couldn't even hear it. Look. Hey now. Right? Nevada highway workers out in the middle of nowhere flushing out culverts for a flash flood warning that's in effect until 10, 10 p.m. tonight. No, uh, for half the state. Yeah, that covers half of the state. Right? And then there ain't enough clouds in the sky to make that much rain. Didn't rain much when we got stuck in the rain for hours. I yeah, know, it, it, but, it, but it was windy. And, you know, it's crazy. I don't know. Here comes another white view. Well, now we all know the government uses white vehicles. Hey, the pamphlet said that the Groom Lake shit's all gray vehicles. Yeah, all gray vehicles. It did, it's a gray and camo trucks. Oh, no, this is, the, this is the FedEx guy that went by us earlier. Oh, is he going to tell us that we can't go down here like the other FedEx guy? Yeah, he's just going by. All right. Sounds like he's been on the reservation too many times. <laughs> but anyways, we're still going this way, headed towards Caliente. This is us in the Nevada desert, wondering. 